we are going to state the domain and the range of the inverse sine, inverse cosine, and the inverse tangents of the function. So starting off with the sine, it doesn't pass the horizontal line test, so we have to restrict the domain and the range. So for the sine, the domain is going to be negative pi over 2 comma pi over 2 and that's 3 and the range of the sine function is going to be negative 1 to 1 now that's for the sine for the inverse sine the the new domain is going to be what the range of this sine function was. So the range so the domain of the inverse sine is going to be negative one to one. And the range is going to be what the domain of the sine function was for the inverse sine. So that's going to be negative pi over two comma pi over two. For the cosine, it doesn't also doesn't pass the horizontal line test, so we have to restrict the domain and the range. So the domain for the cosine is 0 to pi. And the range for cosine is going to be negative, negative 1 to 1. Now the domain for the inverse of cosine is going to be what the range of the cosine was. So the domain is going to be negative 1 to 1. And the range is going to be what the domain of the cosine was for the inverse cosine. So the range is going to be 0 to pi. And for the tangent, To make it past the horizontal line test, we also have to restrict the domain and the range. And for the tangent, the domain is going to be negative pi over 2, comma pi over 2. And the range is going to be all real negative all real numbers to all real numbers. And then the inverse of the tangent for the domain is going to be what the range was. So it's going to be negative all real numbers to all real numbers. And the range is going to be what the domain of the tangent was. So it's going to be negative pi over 2 to pi over 2.